to me, one of the greatest travesties is how actually inhibited scientific discovery, if in the way of scientific discovery. And so often, when creation, I'm accused of the very thing, saying God did it. People argue, well, if God did it, that shuts down investigation. Sometimes when you say evolution did it, that shuts down science investigation as well. And a beautiful example of this has to do with junk DNA. When the human genome was first reported in 2000, 2001, around there, the claim was that 95% of the human genome was on functional junk DNA, the images of evolution, arose out of the paradigm. Now, you study that, you had creationist and intelligent design proponents saying, we think that that is actually functional. Lo and behold, about 15 years later, we now have a very different view is functional. Well, it was actually made by eight or more by an evolutionary framework. If there was a, an intelligent design or a creation model framework, we would have discovered function for this DNA decades. And so I think Darwinism does inhibit a scientific science. And again, to me, the irony is that many times creationism in scientific advance. But I think that if you are a creationist, you have more to study creation because everything you learn about the creation is telling you how God did it. To me, that just evokes a sense of awe at the at my creator to think this is how he did it. I get to a glimpse of what he did and and, and this makes me want to worship God more.